Here's an example video for the topic graphing a piecewise defined function problem type 3. In this video, we will go step by step through each part of this piecewise function and learn how to properly graph it and get the problem correct in Alex. To start, we will look at our first part of the function, 2x minus 1, if x is less than 3. Because it says x is less than 3, at the point x equals 3, we will exclude that point by using an open circle. So at x equals 3, we'll plug that into this equation here for x. For So x is 3, 2 times 3 is 6, minus 1 is 5. So at 3 comma 5, we have an open circle. And because this, this line, because we can tell 2x minus 1 is a line, it has a positive slope, the line will go this direction. So the next closest point, well, we're going to plot a line. We're going to plot a line using this tool. Our first point will be here. And then our second point will be somewhere down this direction. Because the slope is 2, to go backwards, we go 1 to left and 2 down. So plot the point at 2, comma 3. As we can see, the y-intercept will be at negative 1. And if we look at this line, the y-intercept is here at negative 1. It goes downwards. The next part of our piecewise function is y equals 5 at x equals 3. It's a solid point, 3, comma 5. And then our last part of the piecewise function is x squared minus 4 if x is greater than 3, which, as we can tell, x squared is a parabola. We will draw the entire parabola, and then we will use the cutting tool to cut the spot that we, at the spot that we need to be cut. So click on the parabola button, and we can tell x squared minus 4. That means it's a parabola starting at y equals negative 4. And it is positive, so it goes upward. And we need to place our next point. So let's think how about x equals 1. At x equals 1 here, we can see that y equals negative 3. So the problem is that. Now, x is greater than 3 on this. At x equals 3, y equals 5. Because if we plug 3 in here, we get 3 times 3 is 9, minus 4 is 5. Which means that we have to cut everything, this entire section of the parabola. To do this, we click on the cutting tool, and we want to plot our cut point. Well, here we will plot our cut point at 3, 5, which is the point where you have set up. So we'll type 3, 5 in here, and plot that point. So now it's set to be cut here. To cut this whole part down here, we use the eraser, and we simply click on it, and it cuts that part of the graph off. And now we also want to erase these little points that were plotted here as we made our parabola. So now we have our final piecewise function, and we have to we also have to answer the question, is the function f continuous? Because we start from negative infinity and we go up to this solid point here, which is included and continues on, the function is indeed continuous. And that's how we that's how we plot a piecewise defined function with a parabola and a line. And we'll just check the answer. As we can see, the answer is indeed correct.